Published, 4.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 14th of April 2018, updated, 10.43 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 14th of April 2018 As the conflict in Syria escalates, a major U.S. strike is set to drastically disrupt Australia's import-dependent oil and fuel supplies. The airstrikes launched by American President Donald Trump on Saturday could leave Australia with insufficient fuel reserves and soaring petrol prices. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull warned the strikes will disrupt already low liquid fuel supplies and potentially cripple the Australian economy within weeks, the Australian reports. U.S.-led strikes on Syria is set to drastically disrupt Australia's import-dependent oil and fuel supplies, experts have warned the Damascus sky lights up with missile fire as the U.S., Britain and France launch an attack on Syria after it was announced on Saturday smoke rises over the capital Damascus after air. Strike struck Syria early Saturday, April 14, local time. The conflict in Syria is building after an alleged chemical attack by the Syrian government killed 60 people. The outbreak of hostilities could have profound consequences for Australia, threatening the nation's energy security. The prospect of increasing in broader conflict has global implications. The outbreak of hostilities could have profound consequences for Australia, threatening the nation's energy security. The country is dependent on importing oil from refineries across the Middle East region, retired Air Vice Marshal John Blackburn, a former deputy chief of the Air Force has warned, we import 91% of all our transport fuels in this way. And Australia has no government-held stocks, has not told industry what stocks they have to keep and there is no plan B in case of an oil and fuel supply interruption, he told the Weekend Australian, if the Middle East security situation blew up or deteriorated, there is no plan B in this country on how to manage it. Australia imports 91% of all oil supplies with only limited amounts of fuel held in reserve pictured as smoke rising over Damascus, a cruise missile is pictured being launched from a French military vessel in the Mediterranean Sea towards targets in Syrian SW Liberal Senator Jim Mullen, the chief of operations for coalition forces during the Iraq War agreed and said Australia depends on oil moved from the Gulf across to Asia to be refined and sent to Australia, if that stops, we have insufficient fuel reserves in this country to meet such an emergency, he said any function which relies on aviation fuel, diesel, fuels or petrol will cease within a few weeks. The risk to national fuel security was reiterated by a former SAS commander who said if the fuel supplies were compromised, all Australians would be affected, including those relying on key medicines, because we run a just-in-time economy. Donald Trump is pictured addressing the nation on Friday evening from the diplomatic room of the White House, announcing retaliatory airstrikes on Syria's International Energy Agency, designed to help countries coordinate a collective response to major disruptions in the supply of oil, reported Australia has just 43 days of fuel supply in the event of emergency. This is the lowest of all 30 member countries of the IEA, the February 2018 report on Australia's energy policy said, the report indicated it could not see how Australia would cope with a major oil supply disruption that would lead to market failure. A report published in February revealed Australia has just 43 days of fuel in the event of an emergency shortage pictured. A fighter jet lands at Rafak Rotiri, the British military base in Cyprus, in a major disruption, we would have major problems within two weeks, Mr Blackburn said. The Parliamentary Joint Committee on Intelligence and Security also recommended that the Department of Home Affairs review and ensure Australia has a continuous supply of fuel to meet its national security priorities. The report found there was a serious requirement to test the effectiveness of any existing or potential risk mitigations, particularly in scenarios of heightened geopolitical tensions. The Australian reported, a child receiving oxygen through respirators following a poisoned gas attack in Doma. In Syria which killed at least 60 people last week, a poison gas attack killed up to 75 people that the US and its allies say was carried out by Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad on April 7 in Doma near Damascus. President Trump announced a combined operation with Britain and France as targeting Syria's chemical weapons capabilities after a poison gas attack killed at least 60 people in Doma last week. To send a strong signal against the use of chemical weapons, Britain and France joined in action against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's regime, the Turnbull government has said. There are concerns that this is the most dangerous encounter with Russia since the Cold War, with the potential to draw in Iran and Israel.